They've done the van retirement home. No wonder people are working longer. <laughs> Silly you. They don't live here. They live in the nice comfy rooms. This is just the brain centre. Well, what are we doing here, then? Well, I've told you. Dan the van's going to meet us here. I think he's going to offer us a job. Why would he offer us a job in a retirement home? He probably knows what I'm like with the old people. So why would he offer us a job in a retirement home? Because he knows I'm good with the old folks. My grandma was very old. That's funny. So was mine. Then there was Grandpa Chuckle. Remember when he lost his false teeth? Hang on. It was me that got him a new set. Yeah, but it was me that ate all his food for him until you did. So why would Dan offer us a job anyway? Because today is the day that Dan's going to move all his priceless china. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we've offered to help him do it, haven't we? Yes. So as soon as we've done it, he'll obviously offer us a job as a big thank you. But we haven't moved his china yet. Not yet, but we'll do it when he arrives, obviously. Best foot forward. Whoa! Ooh. Do you want to throw some over your shoulder? That's salt. No, it's definitely pepper. <laughs> Get off. Sorry. Oh, dear, oh dear. Look at the state of this place. Shocking. We'll have to clean it up. You know what they say? Nose to the grindstone, shoulders to the wheel. That sounds painful. We'll get this place cleaned up before you can say Jack Robinson. Jack Robinson! <laughs> Steady. Yeah. I'll put the kettle on. Great. Looks like it's going to be another one of those days. What? Eh? What do you want? Nothing. Well, you just went. <laughs> hey, that was very good. You did that without moving your lips. I know, that's what's worrying me. Oh, it's this thing. What is it? Well, it's an old-fashioned telephone type thing for communicating and that. What's it do? Well, you listen in one end and talk in the other. Oh. Leave it to me. Hello? Hello? That's no good. You've got to talk into the other end and listen in the other end. Silly me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. What's up? It's stuck. Hey, Come here. Oh, steady, steady. Brace yourself. Steady. Uh, one, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> that better? Half past one. Oh, Barry. Careful. Hello, boiler room? Boiler room? Utilities and control centre. Of course. Hello. Oh, dear. Right, what room number is it? I'll get on to it right away. What was it? Room 27. He said he's cold. Well, what are you doing? Sending him these up. Extra strong mints. That'll warm him up. There's a boiler in the corner. No, it'll never fit in the lift. It's too big. Not the boiler in the lift. Stoke it. Of course, silly me. Oh, dear. I can't stoke it. There's no coal. Eh? Get out of the way. Well, it's still warm. There's a coal delivery due today, look. Oh, that's good. That'll be it now. Quick, get the barrow. Just there. Stand back. You don't want to get covered in coal. Where's the coal? We definitely heard it. We heard a rumbling, yes. Well, where else could it have been? Earth tremors, thunder. Suppose so. You better send the mints up. We definitely heard something tumbling down towards us. Well, seeing is believing. Oh, no. Peel. If this is Dan's idea of a good job, he can forget it. He's testing us. Eh? Seeing if we're good enough for the job. Seeing how far it can push us before we crack. Oh. I've got news for him. What's that? 
We are not going to crack. Shame. What we need is a peeling machine. Yes, but Barry, even a genius like me couldn't build a peeling machine out of the rubbish that's down here. I suppose so. Concentrate. We'll battle on. Get the job done. Perseverance. Let nothing but nothing stand in the way of the job. Hey, look, there's a telly over there. What we need is a peeling machine. But you said... Not now, Barry. I've got the bit between my teeth. You know what that means? Yeah, you've been eating too many port scratchings again. No. It means I'm determined. It means I'm resolute. It means... That you want to watch telly. Exactly. Oh, nothing was further from my mind. That makes a change. Ah, perfect. Hey. Ah, you're out of luck. This thing hasn't worked for years. Faith, Barry. Oh, yes. A clockwork motor, a few lawnmower spares, and we'll have the perfect peeling machine. What do you say to that? Ah! Faith, Barry. Well, that's the last of them. Amazing. What? I can't figure out how I got all those apples into the little, little machine. Best not to think about it, Barry. It's very complicated. Is it? Oh, yes. It's all to do with weight dense ratio and the space-time continuum. Really? Mm, I'll explain it to you sometime. Great. Go on, then. Uh, not now. Have you finished? Yes, I've just got to switch it on. <laughs> it's very important you don't start it here, here, here or here. Why is that? Well, to peel the apples properly, it must be set to warm wash. Warm wash? Yes. If you set it to pre-wash and short spin, it won't work. It won't work? No. Unless, of course, you press the rinse hold button. Rinse hold button? But only if that was prior to the first spin cycle and after the conditioner phase. Oh. Now it starts to get complicated. Really? When you engage the economy wash button... Paul, why don't you just do it? Me? Well, I've no time for that. I've got other things to do. What, clean round the boiler? No. Watch television. When you've started that, then you can oil the lift... Then you can get the cobwebs down, and then, er... Uh, and then what? I'll have a nice cup of tea. Er, uh, Paul? Not now, Barry. There's a good advert on. Oh, well. Fingers crossed. How are you doing? Nearly done. Good. I've just got to clean around the boiler. I'm starving. See if there's a pizza or something, will you? No pizza. Ooh, I should be done now. It won't turn off. Stupid thing. Barry, come here. What setting did you put it on? Um, that one. That one? Oh, no. What's wrong? That's tumble dry. Is that bad? Bad? It's terrible. Why? All those apples have been minced to pulp and turned to powder. Oh, dear. I've got it. What's on the menu? Um, yesterday's gravy. No, 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 no. It's apple crumble. I'll get a cloth. A few extra ingredients. That looks good. Concentrated, dehydrated apple crumble mix. All you got to do is add water. Water? Yes, you get a frothy, juicy apple crumble. Oh. Here, bag that for you while I answer this phone. Uh, 
Hello? Room 15? What? You've got a leak in your tap? Barry, he's got a leak in his tap. What's he doing with the leak stuck in his tap? No, his tap's leaking. He's got water all over the floor. Oh, dear. Yes, don't worry about it. We'll be up and fix it straight away. Right. Off you go up there, Barry. I'll finish off down here. Something smells good. Ooh, pizza. Seven out of ten for presentation, but on the health side, look at all this salad. Hmm. Bit of pepper, I think. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Ah, phew! Ah, phew! Ah, phew! Never a minute's peace. Hello? It's me. Barry? Yes. Can you come up and help me? No, I can't come up and help you. I've got my hands full. Well, there's water all over the place. We'll channel it away somewhere. Where? I don't know. You'll think of somewhere. Ah-phew! <coughs> what do you want now, you pest? Eh? Hey? Oh, kitchens. Oh, I'm sorry. The apples? Oh, we've done better than that. We've made you an apple crumble mix. Yes, you just add water. Right, I'll send it straight up. have just been on. They want to send the mix up straight away. We'll put it in the dumb waiter. Oh, okay. Oh, this is heavy. It is. Right, to me. Steady. To me then. Adieu. To me. Adieu. To me. Adieu. Steady. 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 Right. Oh. Right. Here we go. Up on there. Steady. Right steady. Adieu. Uh, 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 hold the bag. Hold uh, the bag. Uh, 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 <laughs> Thank you. Right. Turn it up. Hey. Uh, oh, hold it, hold it, hold it! Uh, uh, <sighs> Thank you. Right, right, that's it. That's it. Uh, 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 oh dear, we better get this lot cleaned up. Dan could be here any minute. Have had an idea. <laughs> Do you think this is a good idea? Of course. Dan will be really impressed. This is much more efficient. Yeah, but how does it work? Well, we each clean up our own halves. Ah, but who has which half? Right, tell you what we'll do. The one who gets the longest match. Right. I'll have this one. Oh, dear. You get this side, I get that. I'll get this telly out of the way. We don't want anybody watching it, do we? Where's the remote? There it is. Great. Just in time for the match. Come on, you millers. That's it. Cross it. What are you doing? I'm trying to work here. Well, if he's not doing any work, neither am I. What is he doing? What's going on? What? Hello? Message from Dan? He's coming round in five minutes. Oh, dear. No, everything's fine. You could say... Everything's going swimmingly. 
Cross it! Yeah! Oh. What do you want? The message from Dan. He's coming round in five minutes. Well, you better get your side spruced up, haven't you? Mine's fine in here. Come on, nice move. Now, pass it. Pass Are you watching the telly in there? No, of course I'm not. That was never a corner. Hello? Room 27? You're still cold? I'll see what I can do. Paul, the man in room 27 is still cold. There's nothing I can do about it. We've got no coal. Hang on. Hello? OK, I'll see what I can do then. OK, bye. watching the telly. I wasn't. Well, why did you shout goal? Well, uh, I didn't. I said, uh, uh, coal, coal. I was thinking about the man in room 27. Speaking out loud, that's all. Wishing we had some. I think we're just about to get some. Hey. <sighs> What's all this? <laughs> all done. Very nice. Do you know, Barry, I was watching the football earlier on when it suddenly struck me. Three tons of anthracite. No, not the coal. Teamwork. Teamwork? Listen, we work very well when we work individually. But when we work together, as a team, there's no one to beat us. Well said. It's that very thought that made me turn off the television set and give you a helping hand. That and the power cut. Well, we're all finished here. It's funny Dan never came to see us. Hey, look. There's a note. It's from Dan. Is it? Dear Paul and Barry, sorry I didn't have time to drop in. Hope everything's well. Dan. Does that mean he won't be offering us a job? It looks like it, doesn't it? There's a PS here, look. You'll be glad to know I've moved my priceless china collection. I did it myself without a single breakage. Well, we were going to help him with that. I wonder why he sent us down here all day. You don't think? No. 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 <laughs> no. Maybe.